Hey, Greg Up Church here, doing a little bit more pruning, a little bit more social distancing. Uh, late spring, we're at the very end of March here on the plateau and doing a little bit of pruning on the grapes. Now, got one video out that we talked a little bit about cane rejuvenation, and here we've got a, a younger vine that maybe is not hardly as vigorous. Uh, going to prune it a little bit different than the cane rejuvenation. We're going to do a little more uh, spur pruning. We can kind of see some of the vines that have come out on this uh, cane from last year. And what I'm going to do is go through, uh, do a little bit of cleaning up and get us back to those spurs, kind of hold the production back just a little bit uh, in this vein, uh, uh, this particular grape variety. So it is not uh, uh, basically growing itself to death and putting too much energy in fruit production. So we'll do a little bit of pruning here and we'll have the before and after. Okay, back again after we've done our pruning. So you can see kind of how we've cleaned uh, this uh, trunk and these canes up and basically spur pruned. And what I've tried to do is on each of these little spurs left two buds that are going to grow and produce our fruit. Now the main reason that I've gone ahead and I've uh, spur pruned this particular uh, grapevine as opposed to the cane rejuvenation, this is a younger uh, uh, grape. It's not grown as vigorous and actually if you if you ask me it looks like it's a little bit poor health So I'm going to focus more this year on the nutritional uh, aspects of this uh, I've cut this back And left a little bit more in terms of the buds out here and may even go back and prune it back a little bit more to concentrate more on growing the root system in the plant rather than growing fruit a lot of times on these young uh, grapevines, if homeowners let them bear everything that they'll bear, they can actually produce so much fruit that they can weaken. And I think that's probably a little bit of what we've got going on here in this one. We can already see here where we've got gaps, big spaces in terms of the bud. This would truly be a, a candidate for a cane rejuvenation if we'd had any really good canes uh, growing on this. Uh, so we'll basically prune it, uh, spur prune it this year, let it grow out, throw the plant nutrition to it, and uh, try to reinvigorate this plant for next year. But this is an example of spur pruning. 